three people are missing after a Super Puma helicopter, carrying 18, crashed into the sea near Shetland. The Coast Guard confirmed that 15 people had been rescued from the sea and were taken to a hospital in Lerwick. An air and sea search is continuing. The incident happened west of Sumberg Airport at about 18.20. The L-2 helicopter, carrying 16 passengers and two crew, was operated by CHC taking people to and from oil and gas platforms in the North Sea. Continue reading the main story start quote, There's quite a lot of tide in that area so any person in the water could be carried some distance away. Jim Nicholson RNLI Jim Nicholson, RNLI Rescue Coordinator, told the BBC the helicopter was in an inaccessible position and that the weather in the area was not particularly good. He said, There was a fresh wind, not overly strong. Visibility is not particularly good and it was misty in the area but I doubt if that would have had any impact on causing whatever happened to the helicopter. I believe that the helicopter is in a fairly inaccessible position at the moment near the cliffs. There's quite a lot of tide in that area so any person in the water could be carried some distance away. It will be becoming much more difficult with darkness but I have no doubt that those involved are putting in every effort to try to obtain the best possible outcome. One rescue helicopter flew nine people into Lerwick. One was taken off the flight by stretcher. The rest walked off the flight. A Coast Guard spokeswoman said passengers had suffered a range of injuries. She said, the people that were involved are in varying stages of injury, no one has walked away from this without a scratch. Major incident. A CHC spokesman said, we can confirm that an L-2 aircraft has landed in the water approximately two miles west of Sumberg. The aircraft was on approach to Sumberg Airport at approximately 6.20 p.m. when contact was lost with air traffic control. We can confirm there were 16 passengers on board, and two crew. He said the company's incident management team had been mobilized. A helpline has been set up for concerned relatives on 012242968666. Police Scotland said a major incident had been declared. A spokesman said 15 people had been taken to Gilbert Bain Hospital in Lerwick. Sumberg Airport has been closed to allow emergency services to deal with the incident. Airport spokesman Donald Morrison said the helicopter was making an approach to Sumberg Airport at 18.15 and lost radar contact with air traffic control. Three helicopters and two lifeboats are involved in the search. Rescue helicopters. The Coast Guard said the helicopter's life rafts were found empty and wreckage from the helicopter was starting to wash up at Garthsniff near Sumberg Head. A spokeswoman said, there is still an ongoing search and rescue mission for the three missing people. Square LDR Dave Webster said Raf Laws received a call at 1827 saying a Super Puma had ditched to the west of Sumberg, about three or four miles offshore. A ferry traveling between Shetland and Aberdeen was diverted to the scene and the RNLI launched Taith and Learwig lifeboats. North Link Ferries confirmed that one of its ferries had been diverted. The vessel had left Shetland and was heading to Aberdeen but was diverted back to the incident. A spokeswoman said, I can confirm that the Jetland Passenger Ferry and Hellier Freight Vessel are providing support. We believe there are 201 passengers on board the Jetland, which was on its way to Orkney to pick up more passengers. Investigators from the Air Accidents Investigation Branch, a ABE, are traveling to the scene. A spokesman for the Department for Transport said, the ABE is aware of the incident and has deployed a team. Deeply concerning, the United Union's Scottish Secretary Pat Rafferty said, the early news filtering through of this evening's helicopter ditching off the coast of Shetland carrying a reported 18 people is deeply concerning. Our immediate thoughts are with those people and their families and we can only hope for good news although as time goes on the situation becomes more worrying. He added, 15 people have thankfully been rescued and accounted for, unfortunately some with injuries and the rescue is testimony to the bravery and skills of the rescue services. This brings into sharp focus once again the very precarious nature of the transportation of workers to and from offshore platforms. The health and safety of working people is our priority and we will be watching events closely as they happen. The moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, the Right Reverend Lorna Hood, said, our thoughts and prayers are with all those involved in the Super Puma helicopter crash off Shetland and especially those waiting news of their loved ones. Previous Incidents Last year, 
Two helicopters ditched in the North Sea only six months apart. All passengers and crew were rescued in both incidents which were found to be caused by gearbox problems. In October, 17 passengers and two crew were rescued from life rafts by a passing vessel after the helicopter, which was carrying an oil crew from Aberdeen to a rig 86 miles northwest of Shetland, was forced to ditch. Previously, in May 2012 all 14 passengers and crew members on a Super Puma helicopter were rescued after it ditched about 30 miles off the coast of Aberdeen. The helicopter was on a scheduled flight from Aberdeen Airport to a platform in the North Sea at the time. Super Puma at 225s were grounded in the wake of the two incidents but were given approval to fly again and services resumed earlier this month. In April 2009. 16 people died when a Super Puma plunged into the sea. Its gearbox failed while carrying the men to Aberdeen. The Bond-operated aircraft was returning from the BP Miller platform when it went down off the Aberdeen Shore Coast on April 1, 2009.